Yes, sir, there are five in total. I will definitely let you know. And if you find out something... Okay, sir. Of course, of course. Okay. They're sending the squads to all the villages and pulling the footage from all the cameras. I really wish you hadn't told them that she had dreams and had gone to fortune tellers. It will be a laughing stock. Nothing of the sort. These things happen sometimes. I mean, there are a lot of charlatans around there, but there are also some who are the real deal. I mean, sometimes even the police have to get help from people with psychic powers to solve cases. It's been known to work. What do you mean? Are, are you saying that Layla's dream and the things that man told her were real? Of course it could be. Why not? My mom feels things too. <laughs> she always dreams beforehand when a misfortune befalls me. Some people have the power to feel those kinds of things. <laughs> mothers especially. And especially mothers whose children are in some kind of danger. And especially if they're the only person in the family worried about the child. What the hell are you saying? What are you saying? Do you hear yourself speak, Mason? Gerald, please. Know your place. You rude bastard. Yes, father. Of course, something went wrong. Now Layla is missing. What do you mean? She is missing. We don't know where she is. We alerted the police and they are searching for her. Okay, Gerald. Call me with any developments, okay? Okay, I'll call you back. Talk to you later. I can't stay in the same room with the lawyer of a murderer any longer. So how do you look in the mirror then, Mr. Michael? Welcome. Hello, Alma. Come Thank you. In, sir. Mr. Michael? Hello. I didn't want to tell you over the phone. I stopped by the house and they told me you were here. Manny Array has escaped from the hospital. How's that? Come, let's talk about it inside. Your man took the DVD and left. You must be happy. What are you talking about? What man? You can't even lie very well, Gerald. That's why I'm sure your father sent that guy. Because you don't even have the guts to try and hire someone to attack me, do you? I really don't know what you're talking about, Aaron, really. I think you know perfectly well what it's about. We both know very well what's what. You were the one who forced my hand. You're so stupid. You think it's over because you have the DVD? One can copy DVDs, you know. So I copied the DVD. And I hid it somewhere you'll never find it. If you ever try and bother me again, or I come across something, everyone will find out what happened to William. <laughs> the man just gets up and walks out of the hospital? Are you kidding? This is a scandal. I'm here trying to cope with his lawyer. Or have you been up to something without telling us? Tell us so we know too. Someone is definitely up to something. I just don't understand it. How did Manny get to escape from the police and from security? Get well soon. Who are you? I am Michael Sarman's lawyer. Actually, rather, I'm one of his many lawyers, you could say. And you came to tell me that? Are you here to scare me? I'm innocent, don't you get it? Mr. Michael will get it soon enough. Thing is, that's precisely what Mr. Michael sent me here for. Prison is... Difficult, I can imagine. 
And amongst all of those killers and so many notorious criminals, the survival of a sensitive, artistic soul like yourself is somewhat impossible. Mr. Michael has many friends too, on the inside as well as on the outside. I mean, friendships connected to business, of course. You can scream your innocence as much as you would like, you know? But nobody can be certain of this. And of course then, they will still see you as the murderer of the respected wife of their respected friend. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Are you actually threatening me, sir? Uh, I'm trying to help you out. All the evidence is against you. Well, although Mason is a good lawyer, but when faced with a man who has an army of lawyers on his side, I'm not quite sure what his chances are. You know what I mean? I mean, even if he clears your name, well, it won't be done in one trial. Could take years. And you would be spending all those years in prison. You should think about it. You know, the truth is that hospitals are generally not as secure as prisons. Especially if you have someone who can help you out, right? It's not that hard to get past a few security guards. <laughs> then suddenly, my friend, you are free walking around in a foreign land where nobody even knows your name. No prisons, no courts. Anyway, I won't stay here, tiring you any further. You're a grown man who will make his own decisions. Dur Ali. Manny could not have escaped on his own. He's not that kind of guy, and he's in bad shape. It's impossible for him to escape in that condition. Why do you say that? There's one police officer standing guard there. He's a proven murderer, and now he is going to be out there walking the streets again. There is your so-called innocent client. Maybe the man was just very scared of being killed once he was returned to prison. That he did something dumb like this. Isn't it possible? I'll go and see about those villages. And I'll let you know about any developments. Wait, I'm coming to you. No, Erin, you can't this time. Mason. Mason, will you let me come along with you? Erin, you'll come and then what? I don't even know what I'm going to come across. It's best that yeah, you don't. Yeah, don't you understand? I only want to be by your side. I don't want to stay here with them. I only feel safe around you. And you said you were going to keep me close, remember? <sighs> okay. You can come, but you have to listen to every word I say. Do you promise? I promise. Come on. Okay, I'm opening it. <laughs> okay, I get it. Mom is coming in the evening, but I don't understand at what time she's coming. I don't know, Jasmine. She will probably come when it's already dark outside. Mom, can you come a moment? Not now, son. Just come now. You put your dolly to sleep. I will be right back. It's time to go to sleep now, baby. What is I, it? I overheard Mr. Gerald and Miss Erin talking. That woman said... She said what? That everyone will find out what happened to William. Oh, my God. What is that supposed to mean, then? <laughs> 